You receive a journal for your Ghost Wavelength Spectral Analyzer 2.5 scanner, which tells you to adjust the scanner's wavelength with an unknown wave that appears. All three cold spots are in the same locations for amateur and master sleuth levels. To find the first cold spot, make a U-turn from Joe and take two steps towards the gated entrance of the cemetery. The scanner will beep loudly and Frank will look at the scanner closer. The puzzle is randomized every time you look at the scanner, so if the red waves, the moving waves on the screen, look too intimidating, you can X out and revisit your cold spot for a new wave set. For amateur sleuth level, you only have two knob settings, one for frequency, one for amplitude. You can ignore the middle button here. If you rotate the amplitude knob to the right, you can see that it makes the wave peaks taller. If you rotate to the left, it makes them shorter. If you rotate the frequency to the right, you get more waves. If you rotate to the left, you get less waves. It helps to start with the height. Rotate your amplitude knob until you match the height of your waves. You can count how many red moving waves are on your screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When you are adjusting the number of waves, the frequency, and you get really close, try aligning the waves and release your cursor. Found a new cold spot. You should move over there. On it. For the second location, make a U-turn and walk all the way down the path past Joe to the Hathorne sign. Turn left and step forward. If Frank does not react, keep adjusting. I've adjusted the scanner, but it shows no real signs here. Are you getting any other signals? Let me check. For the third location, make a U-turn, take a step forward, back down the pass all the way past Joe, and turn right. Step forward. There's nothing here. To solve this on master level, go to your settings and switch difficulty to master, hit apply, back, resume. The locations for the cold spots are in the same spots for amateur and master sleuth. The puzzles are just different. Again, if you don't like the looks of your puzzle, you can X out and revisit your cold spot to get a different set. Now for master, the amplitude knob here creates distortions vertically up and down. To the left, it creates less distortions. Now that you have a toggle switch in the middle here, the amplitude knob continues adding more distortions vertically. So if you have both switches with the knobs turned all the way down, you get nothing. Kind of like when you have a remote control with a volume that only goes to level five, but if you get another remote control, the volume continues like to level six to 10. I recommend keeping one of your amplitude settings to the far left, which is the lowest point, to start your work. On switch one and the frequency knob adjusts how many waves or peaks you have. On switch two, the frequency knob adjusts the different patterns available to look through. Found a new cold spot. You should move over there. On it. Good luck and happy ghost hunting.